Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Grade 4, Chapter 3. This is Lesson 3.1, and I'm going to go back to the I can statements. I can use strategies to multiply by tens. So in Chapter 3, we're going to continue with our multiplication. We're going to continue to learn a lot of strategies. We're going to continue to work uh, with more and more digits in our multiplier, and I think you're going to be very happy with what you see. Now before we go on, let's make sure that we have a handle on the Chapter 3 vocabulary. The first two are properties of multiplication. So we're going to talk about of multiplication. Okay? Oops, that didn't work. Compatible numbers, we'll talk about what those are and we'll work with those. Estimate, which is the verb, so we're going to be actually doing this. Partial products, which you've heard before. Factor, which I know that you know, the, the but we're going to keep working with that. The concept of regroup. And, of course, we're going to continue to play with the concepts of place value and how they work for us as we're multiplying two-digit numbers. All right. Let me continue on with Lesson 3.1. The first strategy we're going to work with, boys and girls, is to use place value. Now, I want you to think a little bit about this. What do you remember? What do you know? What have we been learning about place value? Let me go ahead and give you any, uh, a number sentence. I want you to multiply 30 times 20. Now, the first thing you can do is you can think of 20 as two tens. So we would say 30 times 20 is the same thing as 30 times two tens. How many tens is that? Let's take a look. If you said that equals 60, whoops, 60 tens, you would be right. What's another way to say 60 tens? You've got it. Thinking of place value, 60 tens is the same as 600. Good job. I knew that you would get that one. Let's go on to our next strategy. Another way is to use the associative property. Now, before we, before we begin to multiply 30 times 20, I just want you to remember that the associative property states that you can group factors in different ways and still get the same product. You're going to use parentheses to group the factors that you want to multiply first. Let's take a look. Let's try this. I've written 30 times 20 equals. Now remember, I'm going to regroup in different ways to get the same factor. So I can say 30 times 20 is the same thing as 30 times, I'm going to go ahead and put, use the parentheses, 2 times 10. Now, with the associative property, I'm going to reassociate. So 30 times 20 can also be, in parentheses, 30 times 2. I'm going to close that parentheses off, and I'm going to multiply times 10. What's the difference between this line and this line? Take a close look right now. Well, if you said I just regrouped my factors a little differently, you would be right. So what is 30 times 2? All right, so I know that 3 times 2 is 6, and there's a 0, times 10. Oh, look at this. 6 times 1 is 6. There's a 0 here and a 0 here. So 60 times 10 is 600. Did you get that? Good job. Let's move on to the next one.
Here's an old friend. How about if we use a number line and a pattern and we're going to multiply 15 times 20? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my number line. And if you give me a second, I'll have it done. Hold on. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my number line. Hopefully this is pretty good, not too bad. And I'm going to pattern 15 times 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 15 jumps, and you can help me. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whoops, 11, 12, 13, 14, and right on the end, 15. So when I jumped 15 times by 2, what number did I get up to? Yes, 15 times 2 equals 30. Now, what can I do if this is my number problem? I want to go ahead and multiply 15 times 20. Oh, you're pretty good at this. So 15 tw times 20, my basic problem is 15 times 2, which I know is 30. Whoa, where are we going here? Fifteen times two is thirty, but I have this zero in the ones place, so I'm going to add one more zero. So fifteen times twenty must be three hundred. That would be the same thing as if I added zeros to every one of these numbers and I did the same number of jumps. Does that make sense to everybody? Going to get a little crowded here in a second. All right. All right, let's move on to another strategy. Now the last strategy that I'm going to show you today is using mental math to find 14 times 30. But I'm going to introduce something very interesting to you. It's called having, halving, so I'm going to, whoop, hold on. This is called having and doubling. I'm going to cut one number in half and then I'm going to double a little bit later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 14 cut in half, which would be 14 divided by 2 equals 7. I'm going to multiply 7 times 30. And if you said that 7 times 30 was 210, you would be correct. Then what I'm going to do, so 7 is half of 14. So 7 times 30 equals 210. Now, I'm going to take 210, and I'm going to multiply that times 2. That's where the doubling comes, comes into play. So now I'm going to take 210, and I'm going to multiply it by 2. I know that 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 0 is 0. So, that being said, by using the mental math strategy of having and halving and doubling, I can say that 14 times, whoa, 14 times 30 is equal to 420. Now, once again, this is a strategy, and I want you to try it. If it's something that works for you, great. Let me go ahead and give you some practice problems right now, and let's see where we can take this. All right, boys and girls, here are your practice problems for tonight. The first one, I want you to use the mental math method that I just showed you with having and doubling to solve 12 times 40. Now, I want you to use place value to find 12 times 40. Then I want you to compare the two methods. I'm sorry, that's not looking good. Compare these methods. Which one did you like the best? Well, that's not looking good. 
Let's try that. Then I want you to compare these strategies. Then I want you to go back and choose a different method. Solve number 3 is 40 times 24, and number 4 would be 10 times 12. I'm challenging you to use the different strategies that you learned today or that you were introduced to today to solve these equations. All right, see you later.